Welcome to my bathroom y'all. So tonight I am fresh out of the shower and I'm going to show you guys how I put my hair at night so I can do a fro twist out. I don't know what to call this hairstyle but we're going to prep our hair for that. Now the products that you're going to be needing to do this is you're going to need whatever styling things you use. So wide tooth comb and lots of things to part your hair. Uh, you're going to need water. Always use water in your hair. This is the only thing that can really moisturize your hair. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. They're lying. Um, and then you need whatever styling product you want to use. I'm going to use a curl enhancing smoothie. Um, this is going to act with my leave-in and my styling product. So I'm going to be using that. But use whatever styling product works for you. I'm going to be sealing in the moisture with my oil and shea butter because y'all know I love rock method. Hair ties and ribbon ties. Now that you've gathered all your supplies, you're ready to twist your hair. Okay, I lied. You're not ready to start yet. First, you want to part your hair, whatever part you want to style your hair in. I like to part my hair. I like to part it behind my ear and then down the side, splitting it in half. And then the other parts on the other side. And then the back, I'll show you guys how I part the hair in the back. But I already have a section out here. We're going to first start by spritzing the section with water to moisturize our hair. I'm using warm water um, just because it opens the cuticle and allows that moisture to really get into your hair. And getting rid of whatever shedding I have in my hair because I haven't done my hair in a week. Oh! Um, that's really bad, but it's been a rough week. And I'm taking a little bit of product, so this much, and I'm gonna work it into my hair from ends to root. Not forgetting my edges, cannot leave behind the edges. So I like using the curl enhancing smoothie as opposed to my regular leave-in conditioner. Um, see with the oil and then the shea butter follows afterwards. But yeah, I like using, what was I saying? Why I use the curl enhancing smoothie for this, I find I get better results with it in my um, twist outs because I think it's a thicker product and it also acts as a, um, a styling product as compared to my normal leave-in conditioner that is just a leave-in conditioner where its purpose is just to moisturize your hair it doesn't really have much setting property so i find that i get better results and like better hold when i use the curl enhancing smoothie so that's why i'm not using my typical main entail right main choice main choice that's why i don't typically use my main choice for this style now i split that section into two and I section this out the way. This is not a flat twist tutorial. Um, if you guys want me to make a flat twist tutorial in the future, I can. But you're going to split that section into two, grab it, and then twist them around each other, bring it under and twist, and then just keep moving down. And when you get to the ends, definitely give them a nice little twirl. So those are the first two pieces of your twist. Okay, so now that you're done twisting your hair, you're gonna take those hair ties and hair elastics that I was telling you guys about, and you're gonna take your hair 
and you're gonna kind of do the banding method with your hair because my goal is I want my twists to be stretched and as elongated as they possibly can be and when I get to my ends I use the smaller or the more newer hair elastics because they're tighter and they can get around my ends to really stretch them out. It should look something like this when you're done. I'll stretch it out. Good morning guys. Now I'm going to be taking you through the takedown of these twists. We're going to start by unraveling and removing those hair ties and the hair elastics. And then when you're taking down the twist to prevent friction causing frizz, you're going to want to first just lightly coat your fingertips with um, whatever hair oil you use and then start separating the twist. When you're twisting, I forgot to mention it's helpful to not borrow from sections because that will make the takedown much easier. And I didn't separate the hair immediately after I twisted just for the purpose of the video because I wanted to take a thumbnail picture but in theory if I were doing this off camera with no video I would separate my hair and pin it down as I'm going. You'll see what I mean with the pins in, in a few don't worry. Now next step is I go back through my hair and I separate my hair where it normally wants to separate. Now I don't really mind having frizz so if you don't separate at the correct spot it's no big deal. You'll have more volume and that's really the look that I'm going for. I'm going for volume and slight definition in some spots. <laughs> Now it's time to add volume. If you have a pick, that's great, but instead I'm using my wide tooth comb because that's all that I have. And so I split a section of my hair and I start picking at the roots of it and trying to pull up and out to really get my hair to have a nice shape. Now to stretch my hair because with short hair, you for me, I really want my hair to still look full and long, so what I do is I take little sections of my hair around the edges and the perimeter and I sleek down my, my roots and add a bobby pin. And you'll see me do this all around my hair and fluff it out. Now if you want to, you can slick down your edge or edges. Here I'm just doing that for my side part. Here I'm using the curls control paste and the toothbrush. And then now you just see me fluffing out my hair, fixing the shape, because this is the shape that I'm going for with my hair, and now you're done. That's how I like to style my fro. It lasts, I like to wear it just for a day, but it can last for two to three days depending on how you preserve it. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching and keep clicking back to my channel. Bye!